The Gini coefficient is an indicator used by economists and policymakers to determine if a country has an income inequality problem. It got its name after Italian statistician Corrado Gini and basically quantifies income inequality within a country. The Gini coefficient is a number between 0 and 1, with 0 representing perfect equality, so if literally everyone were to have the exact same income, and 1 representing perfect inequality, so if one person earns a gazillion dollars and everyone else nothing at all. We calculate it by Step 1. Gathering income data from every person and sorting it from lowest to highest. Step 2. Creating a graph where we have a. The cumulative percentage of people on the x-axis, and remember that it's from poorest to richest. b. The cumulative percentage of the total income on the y-axis. c. The actual income data, which will form a curve line called the Lorentz curve, named after US economist Max Lorentz. Each point represents the percentage of total income earned by x percent of the population. Again, ordered by income. Step 3. Identifying three important elements. A. The line of perfect equality, basically a 45 degree diagonal, since 1% of the population will earn 1% of the income, 2% of the population will earn 2%, and so on, because everyone has the same income. B. The line of perfect inequality, basically an L, since everyone earns 0 aside from the richest person who earns 100%. C. The aforementioned Lorentz curve. Step 4. Imagining a right triangle with the line of perfect equality as the hypotenuse, the line of perfect inequality as one side, and the x-axis as the other. Step 5. The Lorentz curve will divide that triangle in two, with the Gini coefficient representing the ratio between the area of the part between the line of perfect equality and the Lorentz curve, and the total area. Finally, please note that the Gini coefficient does not measure differences in wealth, only income. Nor can it address underlying causes of inequality, such as access to education or basic necessities.